Hello, uh, <clears throat> I'm starting another series. It's a series for crappy products, which I review based on their store pages, I guess. And uh, these products are in general, uh, I guess, pointless, over-engineered, or just crap. And to start a, to kickstart this off, I've actually found uh, a product which to me seems rather pointless and maybe a little over engineered and maybe leaning into a little bit of a, what do you call it now, animal cruelty. So today we have the Pet Marvel Pet Drying Box. Uh, that's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, I think it's the brand Pet Marvel, which is why it's so awkward. Anyway, this thing looks like... Uh, I don't know, like a portable dishwasher or something. Look at that. I mean, freaking heck. 45 minutes in this thing. Like, your pet would freaking hate you. Like, I'd hate you for using this thing. I'm not one for animal cruelty. And <clears throat> this thing's being sold by this group here. Panmi Group Buying. They're a the legitimate business. They uh, mainly resell Chinese... Um, products, you can see Viomi, blah blah blah, but I'm not talking about those ones, they're vacuum cleaners and chargers. Uh, and <clears throat> clearly, whoever does the uh, marketing for this didn't really look at the typesetting. A couple of spaces there, I mean, why? And I can't imagine this nice lady ever putting her cat in here. I mean, the cat's looking like, you know, what the frick have you done? Drying and carrying fluffy hair, quick drying. Yeah, smart pet drying box, smart my ass. So anyway, it's got a fairly warm, consistent temperature in there. I don't know if your pet will like it that warm all the time for an extended period of time. Spa level care. I, I assume they mean what they're talking about here is like if you have taken it to like one of those pet spas and you know they give them like some fairly uh, focused and individual caring treatment of the pet that's probably not the case here safe drying i don't know about that we'll get to that in a second deodorization is sterilization what do you mean my pet can no longer procreate is that what you mean by sterilization or do you mean to remove the germs off of them and our noise operation, I assume they mean low noise here, but if they mean our, maybe this thing actually hurts the goddamn pet. Overheating alarm. See, this this sort of war concerns me a little bit here. Like, you've got constant temperature, then an overheating alarm here, safe drying. These things sort of don't match. <coughs> this shouldn't ever happen. Like, what happens if you leave your thing, your, your pet, um unattended gentle breeze feels so comfortable who did did you sit in there when you made this thing and designed it um cat here is looking this guy's like you sucker poor thing so and this guy looks like he just wants to get the fuck out and i can't tell if it's on or not like it's not really clear and what happens when the cat pisses in it like that's a grate down there, so I'm going to presume it's uh, water resistant of some sort. Constant, 38.5 degrees Celsius. Great. Feels like a freaking warm summer day. Three dimensional wind. 80% internal, 20% external circulation with both air in and out at the same time. Uh, I, I suppose they mean that the air will be coming out from underneath and blowing. I, I think that's what this is trying to show. That it is circulating air within and it doesn't really show where the air is coming in. But I, I like this one. The data is obtained from the internal testing of the official laboratory of birds and flowers. I mean, what the heck? Did you test this on birds and flowers? Did they die? Like, what was the data? <laughs> uh, it's just this is just weird like maybe you should have just called it the official labs of the birds and the bees because this is how fucked your cat's gonna get 
or any pet you put in here. Take a breath in oxygen bar. 20%, 21% oxygen inside to calm your pet's emotion. Isn't this just the normal makeup of air? Like regular airs, 21% uh, 21% oxygen? I don't know. I, I can have a quick look on that. Uh, air makeup. Uh, there you go. Regular air is 21% oxygen. <laughs> so they haven't really done anything and it's not really an oxygen bar. I mean, you would assume that if they were going to advertise this as an oxygen bar, they're going to like somehow magically increase the oxygen levels, but it doesn't. This is just regular effing air. Like what kind of marketing is this? This is bullcrap. Safety, our top priority. He looks pretty fluffy. Uh, he walking a lot of static there. And again, I, I don't know if she'd ever do that. Constant temperature to ensure comfortableness, built in overheating protection. I, I, I guess it's an okay safety thing, but I don't know if 38 degrees is too warm for these um, cats. Automatically stop heating when when reach 42 degrees Celsius. Comfortable temperature in cabin without overheating. Uh, I don't know about that. What temp temperature are cats comfortable to look? 70 degrees. Uh, I assume they mean Fahrenheit. Here, 70 dig F2C. So, cat, this cat's gonna freaking hate it. That is twice as warm as a comfortable temperature for a cat. This product is looking more and more shoddy. And again, the uh, data is obtained from the internal testing of the official laboratory of birds and flowers. Oh, what a mouthful. High-end spa, more than drying. Man, I'll just put him in the tumble dryer at this point in time. <laughs> at least it's bigger and I can fit more cats in there. Negative iron ion to eliminate electrostatic. Yeah, I don't think so. Essential oil. Hair care with essential oil. What? I'm not sure what they mean. What, you can add oils to this or something? Yeah. All right, quick heating within 15 seconds. 600 watt high power motor. Oh, okay, so they're talking about the motor. 1400 RPM plus five turbine blades. Make your flat, make your pet fluffy within 40 minutes. Damn, your cat is going to sit there for 40 minutes. Piss off. Your cat's going to be mad as anything and break that or try to get out. No way. I, I mean, honestly, you should just use a bloody hairdryer. You don't carry your cat on your lap and use a hairdryer. And this is just ridiculous. Protect hair during dry, make it smell good. Well, they, again, they have some funny font there or something, I don't know. This this cat looks like it's been photoshopped in. <laughs> What's the tray for? Oh, is, is this just to catch all the fur and pee? What's the tray for? Great details. Um, let's see. Open on the top. No tail pinching. Put your pet into box easily. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I can imagine some pets fighting you if you're trying to put them in. Maybe you should put a monkey in there. That'd be pretty damn hard. <laughs> Simple control panel. Knob plus button. Easy to switch. High definition screen and different modes. For easy operation. Um, I think that's just a regular LCD screen. It's not a high definition one. You know, like those old school watches with a little bit of backlighting. Um, that's not a HD screen, and I don't really care. I'm not going to read the time on this bloody thing. And this doesn't show the time either. <laughs> Knob, control, console, time, time change. Uh... So, what do you mean this is a timer? You're gonna have a cooked bloody cat. It will be medium rare, or no? It'll be blue. It'll be blue. Your cat will be dead. Ah, integrated water collection tray. Yes, cool. So you can catch your cat's pee at the same time. I don't think your cat would be going into this thing that bloody wet, would he? Or would it? I should say. I mean, that's a lot of freaking water here. I mean, that's basically from the bath tub or whatever, directly in without even using a towel and, you know, hoping for the best. <laughs> oh my god. Panoramic sunroof and built-in LED light. Uh, I know it's not a car. <laughs> It's very hard when they call it a panoramic sunroof. It's just a lid. Ooh, some specifications. It's 47 centimeters tall and 44 centimeters across. I don't know what that is in inches, I'm afraid. Eight and a half kilos. Uh, yeah, this thing just seems really dumb. Don't put your cat in this. Don't buy it. And it's freakishly expensive what it is. What is it now? 400 bucks. I mean, there are many things you can do better with your 400 bucks. Like, I don't know, throw it in the bin. This thing looks like maybe it might be interesting, the backpack. But, again, I don't know how stressful it is to have a pet across your back. Yeah. I've seen some people do it, but... Not frequent, and I can imagine this thing getting rather warm if uh, if your back's facing the sun. Anyway, that's the first installment of crappy products. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.